Well, I'm here to, to I want to ask them about I, I, Sunday sales. I, I, I did my yeah. uh, little thing yesterday. I got your Friday email. Oh, thank, in bed and wait, thank you so much. I sent it in. Everyone counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I know they've heard from, from well, dozens of my customers at this point. Right. I don't live here. I live in North Minneapolis. So yeah, I, I recall you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, my business is here, so I'm interested to see what they sure, say. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I figure that, that uh, earns me the right to at least ask them their opinion. We pay a little property tax there. We, we pay all kinds of taxes, yeah. Yeah, please do. I don't live in St. Louis Park, but I, I own a liquor store that is in St. Louis Park, and I hear from thousands of my customers who would like the convenience of being able to buy alcohol on a Sunday. I like to listen to my customers, and I also would like to be able to open my business on a Sunday. There is a bill uh, that might come before you right now uh, that would repeal this age-old restriction. So I, I'd like to, to ask you two questions. I know that the opposition, a lot of other liquor stores, if you can believe it, don't want to be open on a Sunday. And uh, they're all, of course, members of the uh, Minnesota Licensed Beverage Association, which is the main lobbying group opposing this repeal. I know that you met with them recently, so I'd like to hear what, what was discussed. And I'd like to hear each of your views on repealing it. Well, I'm not going to, I mean, I met with, I meet with anyone who wants to meet with me, and I don't go around telling everyone else the details of my conversations. Um, in that regard. So I'm not going to give you a transcript of my meeting uh, with those folks. I don't think it would be fair to them or to you when you come in to meet with me, Jason, on, right. on issues either. So, and, and I do want to listen to everyone who's got input in this, and I also understand the Sunday restrictions generally are more of, of an historical response to religious views uh, more than anything else. And so for me, that's a countervailing argument uh, from the one that the, the existing structure of, of a liquor store um, operators has. So it's a balance, um, but I, I, I don't, right now I guess I'm open to listening to all the, the arguments, but I'm leaning in favor of maintaining the existing structure uh, because I think that has been working well and, and um, except along some border communities uh, where the rules are different, say across the river in Wisconsin, if they are, I'm not even sure. From a standpoint of consumer choice, I, I get that it would be a no-brainer. But what makes it very difficult is you have these merchants fiercely uh, lobby against having a restriction or a regulation lifted. They're basically saying, regulate us. Please keep regulations in place. And that's what makes it odd. But I will say, I, I am seeing in the last few years people like you, uh, people like the guy who owns, I think it's Chicago Lake Liquor. I can't remember his name. He's been prominent. And, and there are others who have... Um, started to turn the tide. So my view of it, just in terms of the politics, is and until and unless some sizable group of the liquor stores themselves, and I don't know what sizable means, I don't know that it needs to be a majority, until they change their mind and see in it an opportunity rather than um, an attack, I think it's going to be difficult politically. And that's just my honest assessment. Now, I want to throw in on this because I don't drink. But I will tell you, on Sunday, if I have to make a marinade and I don't have wine, I have to go to Wisconsin. I know Senator Kelly has brought this up when he was in the Senate. This is, for Minnesota to continue this, I think is absolutely ludicrous. You can go to a bar, get drunk, get behind your wheel and drive home, but you cannot go and buy a bottle of spirits and sit at home with it. That's ludicrous. I don't care what the Beverage Council says. It's ludicrous. I agree. 